Hello and welcome to my Wednesday and I'm gonna start the vlog off with a hair update. Now my hair's been going very thin for years, ever since as long as I can ever remember and I've mentioned it in the vlog a few times and somebody called Fiona said in the comments try biotin and I have and I've been taking it for a few weeks, there it is. I'm not a medical person, this is just something I'm trying out. Anyway, I've been trying it for a few weeks, I thought well let's give it a go, if it doesn't work at least I can cross it off the list. Anyway, a few weeks on now, I've begun to notice over the last week or so that my hair's not falling out as much. Normally when I brush my hair, there's a big clump of hair on the hairbrush after every single brushing and I pull it all off, put it in the bin every time I brush my hair. This is, you know, once or twice a day I probably brush my hair. And when I have the bath, normally like I'm raking the water with my fingers, getting all the hair out of the bath water, dumping it to one side, sorry to be a bit graphic, but this is my normal, this has always been my normal, like normally there's a lot. And I began to notice about a week ago, hang on a minute, there's only a few little strands there and they're long hairs that were ready to come out rather than, you know, I lose hairs this long, you know, normally, all lengths, like new ones. I thought, well I won't mention it in the vlog in case it's a fluke, but now I've just begun to notice my hair is like, it's feeling a bit bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me touch it and this is completely new for me. Normally it's just flat against my scalp because it is so thin. So I think I'm getting some new growth. <laughs> um, I mean it's still pretty thin as you can see there is scalp through there but I think I think we might be getting some new growth, so thanks for that recommendation. Hello, this is editing me in the evening. Been sitting here chatting to IB and I was talking about this biotin and we just did some googling, well he did some googling, apparently it's also vitamin B7, but the recommended dose that you found was like way way less, like nine times less or something than what these are, so you know do your own research and uh, other sites were saying always consult a doctor before taking them, lots of sites said you should be able to get enough of it from your diet, uh, anyway mm. I thought I'd better include that. Couple in, so it's quite grubby. I normally only use for half an hour. That's all done and put away now, apart from one lowly glove there, which I don't know why one ended up in the wash. I'm sitting at my desk um, trying to sort my video out for tonight, which is just taking ages to upload. My software updated itself and it's, it seems to be behaving slightly differently uh, in some ways, including taking a very long time to get onto YouTube. Anyway, while that's doing that and I'm still waiting for a few last bits to do, I've been rewriting my list of things to do in no particular order, which spills onto the second page there, which I need to schedule in to do on the last days this week. Uh, the Number one on the list is going to be contact Izzy's college regarding her dyslexia. I don't think I need to tell them about the allergies because I think that's old news. I think they've got that on record already because I sent them a very detailed thing last year. Um, yeah, so there's that. I haven't done it, I haven't rushed because yeah, she's getting on fine and just there's no rush. Um, anyway, yeah, a lot of stuff to do. Some of it's important, some of it isn't. I've been meaning to do Izzy's singing demos for ages. We recorded them last, oh, ages ago. This is one of my sort of self organizing techniques. This is I bought this pad of sticky lined notes from BM Bargains and I find them really handy. So I write my to do list in no particular order on it and I just stick it in my diary. But then when I come to organize it properly and what order of doing things, that's when I'll just take it to one side and I'll rewrite the things in the right order and on the right days of the week to do them. That sort of thing. I find it handy. 
but I am getting quite hungry for my lunch now so I'm just going to get this video up and then I'm going to go and get some food and then I'm going to start my list after lunch. Oh, your video is being processed. Check back later. I just want to put the end screen in and stuff like that. I've done almost everything else. YouTube's updated as well since yesterday. Sometimes you just, you go on to do all the routine things, one after another, after another, after another, and um, all of a sudden, it's like, it's all a bit different. <laughs> You're like, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? Well, so I'm having a double thwartation today. That's different and that's different. But anyway, we shall overcome. I've got to check that the video is actually going to play. Because <laughs> it sort of... Yeah, the conversion process from that into the video you see on YouTube seems to be a bit different, like the settings. So I, knew, I had them in that just work, and this was different. Right, well, while that is doing, I might as well set off the Gaudete challenge to the rest of my pub band. This is going to go on our Christmas list. They have consented to give it a go. Now, I use a software called MuseScore, which is a free one anybody can download if they're interested in, you know, notation software. And if you search on it, you can often find things that other people have made at home and just shared with you. And so this is something I've found that somebody else has written. It's the steel eye span thing, you know, I'm rather hoping I'm not going to get done for copyright with this one because it's written in 1582. So hopefully the copyright is expired. But anyway, have a little listen. <laughs> Obviously there are only three of us in our band and there are four parts here, so we're going to have to give it a go with three and see how it comes out, really. Um, the advantage with using the Muse score is you can just isolate one part and play it. Um, I mean, you can just do it with the arrow key one note at a time if you want. So, for example, let's just try the top line. I'm just going to use the arrow keys for now. I'm perfectly able to read the music myself, so that's something I never need to do, but... IB will need to play it to know how it goes because he doesn't read music that fluently yet although he is learning he's an ear person I'm going to email this to the boys now then I'm going to give Dan the higher of the male parts and IB I'm going to see if he'll choose one of the two bottom ones I don't know how he's going to get on with the bass clef though I think this might be a new a new one on him <sighs> I'm getting really hungry now, but I haven't finished. I still haven't got the vlog up, but I've sent off the Gaudete challenge email to the band, so we'll see what happens there. Um, also, I asked Izzy earlier, does she want me to book us both in for a haircut tomorrow, if I can, and she has just messaged back saying, yeah, okay, and she will be back for dinner. So, don't know what time. She's, I've asked her to specify the time, because I've got to coordinate her and IB, but she hasn't. Uh, very helpful uh, anyway right I'm going to see if I can book this lot because I don't know if I'm going to be able to at this short notice yeah we're booked in for three o'clock tomorrow there was such a bad crackle on the line it sounded like this <laughs> and I was like three o'clock I can't hear you did you say three o'clock and it was just going back <laughs> so Think we have an appointment for three so we'll turn up at three and hopefully that's when it is. She didn't ask my name or anything just put me in. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <sighs> right I'm gonna get the vlog up and I'm gonna eat because I am starting to feel shaky now. Oh my goodness. It has exported the video like that big on the YouTube screen. I cannot put this out like this. I'm going to have to re-export it and redo everything but luckily I won't have to redo the thumbnail because that's already made I just have to upload it oh that is so annoying and I'm so hungry I want food but I'm gonna have to quickly google what settings I need to put in because the export settings were all different on the drop down and I didn't recognize what any of them were or what they meant so I just used the default one and it has just given this minute have a look it's got black bars at the top and bottom and if you try and make it full screen it's just it's basically not full screen because it's got this black edge all the way around it that is so annoying <sighs> maybe i just need to have a snack to keep me going while i try and sort this out today's lunch is going to be void of veg so i'm going to eat some fruit with it 
Um, <laughs> I have some mackerel that I got reduced to clear, of course, so I'll have an apple with that. I am toasting a muffin as well, as we speak. So not a very usual sort of lunch for me. Right, it's got a satsuma in here as well. Let's have one of those. Okay, good. Might give that apple a wash, actually. This is what happens when I go too long before getting my lunch. You know, I might have cooked something otherwise, but I was just like, I need food now, immediately. Too hungry to get my tripod sorted out. Sorry, you'll just have to yeah, imagine. I think it's not even focused. It's quite a good representation of my low blood sugar feeling <laughs> right now. There you go. Not the most exciting lunch this week, got to admit. <laughs> I am going out. It's half past three. I've just got my vlog up. Oh, I've had to completely redo everything, but I did do a lot of copying and pasting from the previous incarnation. Incarnation? Yeah, I think that's the right word. From the one I uploaded and it was all wrong and needed redoing. But anyway, yes, it's done, finally. I have also communicated to Izzy's college about the dyslexia diagnosis. I have also sent a banned email out that I've been meaning to send for about a week and just not got around to it, so that's ticked off the list finally. And I've also updated my Amazon subscribe and save stuff to include the biotin and also the demanos that I take for the old, you know, waterworks as well. So that's done, that's been on my list as well. But right now, I'm gonna take this to a charity shop. I've been meaning to do this since before I got COVID, but then when I got COVID, I thought I'd better leave it a while because what if there's COVID in it? That's not a very nice donation to a charity shop to donate COVID. So I left it and left it and left it, then got really busy last week and then didn't get around to it. So I'm sure it's fine now, it's been ages. And also this library book was due back yesterday. So I suppose I might as well take it. I might see if I can renew it again. To be honest, I was the only person that's had it out in years. <laughs> Uh, so there's obviously not a great rush on it. I haven't finished with it. I kind of got too busy to use it, but I might do some more. And also I'm going to pop in that local shop that had the wax melt burner lamp things, very similar to the one Izzy just smashed. And if they're not too expensive, I might buy her one. I bought the lamp, it's in my shopping basket. I'm in Iceland just buying some potatoes and some greens to cook tonight's dinner. I think I'm going to get one of these Savoy cabbages. Totally just failed to fill myself putting that in the basket. Only so many hands, I'm afraid. Hmm, do I want some onions today? I rarely cook onions. Yeah, go on. I think red ones might be better. Give me a belly ache, see? But I've heard the red ones are maybe not quite so bad for it, so I'm gonna try it. Wanted mushrooms, only one left of those. Pound. And gonna grab some broccoli as well. Looks all right. Isabel's not joining us for dinner after all, she's just told me, so I can cook spicy stuff now. I have a very short shopping list, just halloumi, cereal and veg. I don't know if they do halloumi, I'm gonna look. I think they might actually. Loads of Christmas stocking, I've been seeing it. I've got Izzy home tomorrow, so let's have a pizza for lunch. That'll make her happy. Oh, it's a bit crowded, gotta go all the way at the back to get past the queue, you know, the social distancing and all. Oh yes, they do have halloumi, look, two pound. I had a feeling I'd seen it in it before, but I vlogged about it and forgot. Cereal frizzy, but what sort? She's not into much, she likes Special K. She went off that lately. Don't know what else there is to give her. I've got to avoid the nutty ones, obviously. Can't remember if she likes Cheerios or not, but I think it's one of those things that sometimes she likes it and sometimes she's gone off it, but she hasn't had it for a while, so hopefully that's okay. Right, I'm gonna go pay. I'm back and here's the lamp that I've bought for Izzy. Look, it was 24.99. Let's have a little look inside. That's the little oil burner dish thingy. They put the wax melt in. I call it an oil burner, it's like wax. So yeah, excuse my leftover teacup from earlier. Here it is, the non-smashed lamp. <laughs> oh, somebody at the door. Next door, um, oh, the spare bulb. Ooh, excellent. One. Poor, oh, smells really kind of. Ooh, that's that's quite funny. I'm sniffing it, and there's like a giant reflection of myself, kind of all convex. 
right in my own face, that's unusual. Can't even remember what I was saying now. I've distracted myself. Oh yeah, I'm tempted to just put it, set it up in her room and have it on to coincide when she comes in. So when she goes up to her room, she just goes in and the whole room is like darkened with this lovely glow all over the walls. That's the bulb in there and when that goes on, this goes on the top with a wax melt in it, you see, and uh, it gradually warms up from the heat of the bulb and lets off the aroma then throughout the room. Here, I've got it lit for you, look. Um, this one's different to the last one because it's a, a touch one, look, with different uh, strengths or intensities, whatever we want to call it. I'm going to go and set it up for an hour. I've popped my coffee pot on for a low-calf coffee. While that's brewing, I'll pop this shopping away. There's another bag in the other room as well. Hang that washing out that I did earlier. And then I'm gonna treat myself to a big editing fest in the early evening. I normally edit at night, but because my boyfriend's coming later, I'm gonna try and get most of it done before he comes so we can have some quality time together. And uh, yeah, I'm, you may notice I haven't practiced my flute for a couple of days. Well, this is the third day running actually, which is quite unusual for me, but it saves me an hour a day if I don't do my hours practice. And I haven't had any walks either, which I'm not that happy about, but I just, I wanna work my way through my list of stuff that's my it up and then I'll feel liberated once I've broken the back of that. There's all sorts of things on there that I need to get done. So yeah, I probably, oh, I need to get playing again though. I feel uncomfortable and jittery if I leave it too long. Anyway, I'll speak to you after I've finished editing. Well, it's quite late in the evening now. Izzy's due home and so is my boyfriend due to appear as well. I've set this up in her room so she can come up and be surprised by it. And I've also been inventing meals as I go along again. This is a kind of, well, it's kind of like a stir fry, but I've added some liquid because it was sticking. There's all manner of nice things in there, including those courgettes from my garden. There's broccoli, there are butter beans, there's chilli, mushrooms and cabbage. I think that's about everything. Lots of ginger, lemon juice, soy sauce, Cajun seasoning and all sorts of other lovely things, garlic. And in here we've just got potatoes boiling because I've fancied those for a change instead of pasta. I've been clearing the table ready for food and I was gonna light Izzy's pumpkin. Oh, it still hasn't gone off. I kept it in the fridge for that week after she did it and it still doesn't smell or anything. So we've been using it every evening with tea lights in at dinner time. That's been kind of nice. Oh, we're looking forward to our haircuts tomorrow. Anyway, that's going to be kind of interesting. I just, I, all I want to do is just make it shorter, basically. It's going to be kind of like a reset or a restart, you know, with hopefully new growth coming, hopefully. I'm really starting to feel quite optimistic about it. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now quickly before anybody turns up since neither of them want to be in it. <laughs> um, but if you have enjoyed this one, could you please give it a thumbs up to help the channel to grow? Comment down any thoughts below and if you're new here and would like to subscribe for more adventures, do hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it for notifications and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!